so lovely here. Do you like Wailea or Kanapali better? Kanapali. No! <laughs> Do you? Wailea. You like Wailea better? We're doing this as a battle. Points on seeing what location is best. And this is all tongue in cheek, right? Like, it really depends on your personal preference. Everyone's got their favorites on this, but it's a nice overview of these two resort areas. So, you know where you want to book a hotel or if it's worth the money for you to stay in like some places that are a little more luxurious. Mm -hmm. Let's get oriented first. Where are these places located on Maui? So, Ka'a Nepali is located in West Maui, it is a resort area built in the 60s. It is located on a three mile stretch of Gold Sand Beach. Gold Sand, White Sand, it's a beautiful beach and it just keeps going all the way up the coast. Now, the vibe here is definitely a little lively some would say busy and it's a lot of fun it's kind of poly it's 10 minutes from downtown Lahaina and 45 minutes from OGG or Kahului Airport all right Wailea is located on South Maui so down here you are approximately 25 minutes from the airport or you know just a quick 10 minute drive to Kihei it was developed in the 1970s and it is home to the luxury of luxury resorts on Maui and the vibe here is a little bit more quiet, laid back, luxurious. It's raining on us, but the beach is empty. We're gonna be breaking down this tournament in seven stages. Stage number one, weather. So both Ka'anapali and Wailea are located on the leeward side of the island. That means you can expect a lot more sunny skies and drier weather. So to be clear, like these are the places you will find the best weather. So when trying to declare a winner for weather, it's a little bit of splitting hairs here. When comparing the two, Wailea is both drier and hotter than Ka'anapali. So if you really want the absolute best chance of having sunny skies and great weather, Wailea technically wins. But one thing that I feel like you won't find in the charts, there's a lot of wind. So this is more a little of our opinion, what we've noticed when we are down there, we're down there quite a bit, we feel a lot more of the trade wind action coming through in the afternoon. So we experience a little more wind we're down there. It might ruin your beach day, might not. Mm -hmm. It's up to you. So point here. For Wailea. Wailea. For Wailea for the better weather. All right, number two, we got beaches, right? And these are very different, in my opinion, between the two, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so first off, you got Ka'at Nepali. You got three miles of beach. You got like one big beach going all the way across. It was in the news recently because of big erosion, but they're working on it. But still, it's this big beach to sit out on. It's really nice. Wailea is very different. You have these like lava coves and you have them separated in different beaches and it's separated by like a lava rock, right? So you got Ulua Beach, then Wailea Beach, and Polo Beach. And keep going down the coast to Maluaka and then Big Beach, McKenna. And Ka'anapali just doesn't have the big beach. It has other great beaches nearby in Northwest Malu. You got Napili, Kapalua, and you got amazing snorkeling up there. These are gorgeous beaches and they're just like, what, 10, 15 minutes up the road? Yeah. It's really convenient. All right, so the point here, Kind of poly. <sighs> Quick safety thing about the swells, right? During the summer, Wailea gets hit with more southern swells. Those are bigger, bigger surf, rougher water, makes it a little more dangerous to go in the water. It doesn't mean you can't, just check lifeguard flags before you go out. But during the winter, Northwest Maui can get bigger swells coming in too. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of a push, but good to know for safety when you're going during those times of year, always check with lifeguards, check ocean conditions before you go in. Yeah, when in doubt, just don't go out. Number three, it's cost. So where do you get the best bang for your buck between these two areas? And we have some data for you. So the Hawaii Tourism Authority tracks average daily rates for hotels. So we were able to pull that. We are using June 2022 data. So it is high summer season. So the prices. So for Wailea, for a hotel in Wailea, the average daily rate was $1,025. Wow. In Kanapali, the average daily rate was $579. So Wailea was nearly double what Kanapali is. So if you're looking for a better price, Kanapali wins. Kanapali has a lot more value hotels and they still have four star hotels there yeah. in Kanapali, but you have better selection of lower cost options for you. It's great. 
I mean, Wailea is so expensive, it's ranked the third highest sun and sea destination in the world. Like Maui is, but Maui's high because Wailea is averaged into the cost. So, I mean, literally, Wailea is one of the most expensive places to stay in the world for a beach vacation. I mean, you have all the luxury resorts down in Wailea bumping that price up. So points on cost goes to... Kahana Bali. But I will say those luxury resorts are why I like Wailea so much. <laughs> Number four, we have activities for you. These are things to do around the area. This one, we debated a lot, and there's great activities to do in both locations, but we like Kaana Pali better because you have Lahaina and you get boat tours that leave directly from Kaana Pali Beach. So first, for Lahaina, you have Lahaina Harbor there. A lot of tours leave from there. Plus, you have unique stuff too, like the Atlantis Submarine, the Reef Dancer, which goes over the reef, and like a lot of farm tours over on that side of the islands. All very close. You can fill it up. That's why you should check out our itineraries. We have all these great excursion days throughout Maui. And West Maui Day is one of our personal favorites. Yeah. Now, Wailea, you still have like great tours in the area, but most times you have to drive up to Ma'alaya, the harbor there, to go out. They don't have any that leave from the beach, except... Our favorite, Kai Kanani. We love doing their snorkels. It leaves right from Malawaka Beach. It's a beach loading, um, and it's great because it's right in Wailea. Kaanapali does have beach loadings, like we mentioned. They have a bunch that go right there. We like to go from Lahaina Harbor. We find it'd be a little better price, but I got meant for convenience. You can be hanging out in Kaanapali at your resort and just walk right onto the boat and off on a snorkel trip yeah. or sunset cruise, whatever you want to do. It's so yeah. much fun. So point for activities goes to this guy. Item number five, restaurants. Where are you going to eat when you are here? Which place has better food? To be fair, we feel pretty eh, about restaurants in Wailea and in Kaanapali. Like restaurants in those two places are like pretty good yeah. and pretty even. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not that we don't like them. Nothing excites us too much about them. Yeah, they're good. They're good places to go to. And it's pretty even, I feel like, between those two. So we had to figure out how to really give a point here. So we brought in the greater surrounding areas. So for Kaanapali, Lahaina. So there are so many good restaurants in Lahaina. You got great breakfast places in the morning, and then you got great places for lunch, and then happy hour, and boom, you got dinner right there. Like Lahaina Grill has been rated one of the best restaurants in the country you by TripAdvisor. Fleetwoods, yeah. Merriman's, up in Napili. Like, there's just- Star Noodle. You got a lot of great options to choose from, and you're just like down the road from Kaanapali. You can hop in an Uber, Lyft, or taxi, and you're in Lahaina for the evening. Wailea and Kihei. Also, Kihei has some great restaurants. We love Havens. Havens Havens is excellent. They have great food truck parks. They have the South Maui Gardens, which is really pretty. And they have my favorite coffee place, Akamai Coffee in Wailea. So they do have really great options, but unfortunately the edge here goes to... Point for Kaanapali. The nice part about Wailea is you find yourself on the boardwalk quite often. It's not a bad place to be. All right. Two left. These are probably the most important for a lot of people. Cost is huge too, don't get me wrong. But why pay all that money? It's because of these two reasons right here. First is crowds. This is where Wailea is gonna win. I'm just gonna spoil her on this one. One big point for Wailea on crowds. But Erica's got the data. Yeah, so we've always said Wailea feels quieter. There aren't quite as many resorts there. There are some vacation rentals, but not nearly as many as you will find in Kaanapali. And we now have the data for this. So again, from the Hawaii Tourism Authority, we looked up the nightly demand for hotel rooms for June of 2022, and Wailea had 56,000 hotel rooms that were booked, and Kaanapali had 154,000 hotel rooms booked in June of 2022. So almost three times more people in Kaanapali, and you can you can kind of feel it. Oh, the boardwalk's sure. busier, Whalers Village gets busier at nighttime. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people around. Also, the resorts are a little more packed in, so you don't have these sprawling grounds. Like in Wailea, the Wailea Beach Resort is massive. I forget the acreage, maybe like 30 acreage. Yeah. It's, it's big though. And even though it's a big resort- It doesn't feel that crowded. You don't run into people. Yeah. So like we said, a big point here for crowds, you're paying more money for Wailea, and this is one of the big benefits of paying that money, is you can have a nice, peaceful, relaxing vacation. So point goes to Wailea. <laughs> and that feeds right into resorts. This is the big one between the two locations, right? So Wailea Resorts. Erica and Henry absolutely love these resorts. You got great kid-friendly ones. You got romantic ones. 
love them. We had a lovely baby moon at the Hotel Wailea. We did. And then we do staycations in Wailea, like at the Wailea Beach Resort and the Grand Wailea because of the great pools. Yes. Some of the best pools in all of Hawaii. You got the Grand Wailea, you got this massive pool complex with water slides and a lazy river. Then the Wailea Beach Resort, you have these massive water slides. It's a lot of fun. The Nalu Adventure Pool, we spent a day and a half just at that pool. It was so good. These resorts are just, they're stunning. We've made so many special memories there. It is, yeah, Wale is full of great resorts. Watch our other video on Maui luxury resorts and you'll see a lot of them in that video. So Ka'anapali also has a great place to stay. You got the Hyatt, you have the Westin, which is our favorite in Ka'anapali because they also have a great pool for you. And for a great value hotel, you have the Ka'anapali Beach Hotel, which is the most Hawaiian hotel in Maui. And I believe they got great activities. It has a great Hawaii feel to it. Which hotels have better pools? Uh, why, why? Because it has the lazy river. Oh, the lazy river at the Grand Wailea. Mmm. Smart kid. So, the final points. I mean, we were playing for fun. Which is what losers say. <laughs> <laughs> I won this one. I lost the Reef Dancer Atlantis battle. But Kaanapali wins. It just the cost, the weather, you know, it doesn't win in all the categories, but that's what that's why we like her. That's why I like it. Yeah. Erica loves Wailea. If you can splurge and you really want to have that nice, special, luxurious experience, Wailea is a place for you to go check out. And if you want in depth where are you going to stay what hotel what vacation rental what are you going to book we have reviews for you so head to the hawaiivacationguide.com slash where to stay and you will have our new vacation and hotel rental directory so there you will find our new hotel and vacation rental directory and it will give you reviews and details of all the places that we have stayed and enjoyed staying thanks so much for watching thank you